in the overall mosaic that represents Nepal to the world, the Patan Darbar Square would be an integral part of that mosaic because there is no other place on earth uh, like the Patan Darbar Square. The city is amazingly historical, it is amazingly cultural, but then we also have to understand modernity. So the city has grown, the population has grown. So in that context, you know, development aspirations are also very high. One particular scheme uh, uh, that we undertook was to lay sewer uh, pipe and, and water supply pipe in the Patan Dusbar Square, which is the UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site. And so it was very important to reduce water logging duration and possible contamination. The question is, how do we fit a modern wastewater system into an ancient city? The project uh, during the design uh, carried out uh, heritage impact assessment to ensure that we avoid any type of uh, damages to the archaeological remains. For preparing this, uh, you know, the inventory of all the uh, uh, heritage sites were recorded. Uh, not only heritage sites, the old and vulnerable buildings in which the communities were living were also recorded. And then also recorded were uh, the intangible part of, uh, you know, the, the heritage, that is uh, uh, the, the music, the festivals, um, the procession for uh, cremating dead bodies. There, there are certain defined route used by the communities. So all these were recorded. And based on that, um, we uh, prepared uh, how this could be uh, mitigated or community could be uh, facilitated in continuing with their uh, cultural, uh, sociocultural practices. We made extensive consultations with the community, archaeological experts, engineers, structural experts. Also, we involved the policymakers to obtain buy-in from the communities as well as the, all the key stakeholders. The, since this is the old heritage site, we must be very, very cautious that thing, no damage at all to the heritage site. The local communities are very much concerned. This is the first such project. Uh, this is the first heritage impact assessment was done. We did everything in, in accordance with ADB's requirement. Actually, the project, project severe uh, rehabilitation in poor city area of Jilalipur metropolitan city, uh, which is, uh, in terms of construction work, is totally different than the normal works because we have to lay uh, the pipe of different sizes, starting from 500 mm to 1,400 mm diameter, of, where the old houses of even more than 200 to 200 years old houses just as a scent of the pipe alignment. This is being a World Heritage Site, so we wanted to know pre-hand what's there in the, in the line of the proposed sewer line, where we are going to propose what's probably what's there. So we all use these three techniques. Uh, the GPRS, the electrogenicity, and the sound waves. So all these give us some results. Based on these three findings, on these three explorations, we do uh, overlay them and we did the analysis, and then we pin pinpoint it out. And much of the time, the Khande Gaye, and the other chakra, you see, Buddhist, you see, different thalia, sign, you see, different thalia. But then you have to listen to Kalin, who, but he's a good boy, and the other study, go like it, and. As you know, this project is under the UNESCO heritage site, so we have to maintain the high standard of the every service and the facility. Once this project is completed, it will address the flooding problem of the city core of Patan. Whatever we have done 
uh, here in Patan Darbar Square. This could be one of the examples for others as well. My suggestion to them is in the heritage site, whatever work you are going to do, take uh, expertise at boys as and when required. This project has actually taught us that by undertaking you know, proper identification of risk and mitigation measure at the planning stage and ensuring you know, strict compliance, we could actually uh, deliver development in this very highly sensitive area while at the same time uh, preserving and conserving the cultural heritage. So moving forward, uh, we are making effort to institutionalize uh, what we have learned from this project and disseminate the knowledge. So having guidelines or having a way of doing these things is very helpful because these structures or these monuments that you see are irreplaceable.